hello guys what's up it's Anif here and welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be collaborating this image in Photoshop I did a previous video like this in Lightroom and I got a lot of requests asking me to do the version for Photoshop so let's get started with this now right now what I'm going to do is um, do the basic adjustments here in the camera or filter so first of all I'm not going to touch my white balance I'm just going to adjust my exposure contrast highlights shadows and black Use the highlights, shadows a bit, then use the blacks. Increase the exposure. And I think I'll reduce the highlights a bit more. Increase the shadows. Then I'll reduce the blacks. Then a little bit of clarity to this image. A little bit of clarity. So we yeah, are contrast to. I'm also going to be providing the raw image so if you want to follow along and work with this image you can work with it so yeah so yeah I think I'm done with that I'm going to open it in Photoshop So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer then remove this stuff from behind our head because it's distracting I'm going to use a clone stamp tool for that Now if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this I upload weekly so I think we fix that. I'm just going to fix it a bit more. Just the hardness. Alright, so we're done with that. Duplicate the layer again. The next thing I'm going to do is retouch the skin using my mixer brush and my retouch the academy panel. Now I've done a full video on our retouch skin, so if you don't understand what I'm doing here, you can go and watch the previous video. I'll say I also provided Photoshop action in that video, just in case you want to follow. Remember your weight should be set up. 2% your load at 75 mix at 90 Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The handles are on your screen. Oh, you'll also be notified if I drop a new video and also subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified as well. So now we're done with the low frequency layer, next we're going to move to the high, fre high frequency layer. So like fix a little bit of blemishes if there are any on the skin. And by sample click.
So now we're done with frequency separation. We're going to move to um, our eyes and just brighten our iris. And also get rid of the dark stuff around our eyes. Reduce opacity. Next, I'm going to use this to whiten her teeth and her eyes. Reduce opacity so it's not too much. So next is I'm going to use my touch tool to brighten under her eyes. Use my flow to like mine. Alright, now we're done with that, we're going to move to the color grading of this image. Interactive color. I need to move some blues. Adjust it. I don't like the blue there. Alright. Now move my gradient map. Let me switch this to a photographic toning. Click OK. Then use the one the gradient you like from here. I usually choose the gradient that matches with our skin so it doesn't run our skin tone. Change the blend mode to soft light, reduce opacity, then try other gradients. I'm gonna do is use my curves leave the blacks a bit and then move over to my blue channel bring it down a bit so it adds that little bit of color to the skin guys right guys so that is all for this video we are finished and um, retouching the skin and color grading this image in photoshop so if you like this video make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this this is before this after so see you guys next week and bye Oh,